Hello people, uh, welcome back to Star Traders 4X Empires Elite. Uh, in this episode we'll be going over other stuff. So, I've got people on uh, Steam texting me. People on Steam. Uh, right, let's get him over there. That's so what we were doing last time, we were getting him to explore this anomaly. Once we explore the anomaly, good head, head unit, that's what we needed. So you need a... Why can't I add another... Oh, it, that's the suggested... That's what it suggests that we build. So we're going to continue on our way. Doing our thing. Start to work on mine. That's good. That's good. Just keep doing your thing. I have to add that to our star charts. New trade embargo. Oh shit. That's right. I had to make sure that didn't happen. Um, so now you can go to politics and see that Kadar and the Devaltos hate each other. And that will in turn hurt the entire empire. You'll see the next turn. Profits, or yeah, profit has gone down in the next turn. I guarantee it. Resources. So he just explored this anomaly. I think that's a nebula or something. It, yeah, I think it's a wormhole or something. But um, anomalies are all over the place. They'll be everywhere. So you explore that, and at the next turn, it will show us. The exploration team carefully approaches the space anomaly on the brink of a discovery. Such discoveries are made once a generation. This could help advance a current research project. Uh, you can risk more and get more, but you might lose the team that went in, or you can just accept it how it is. I like to be risky, but for now let's just accept it because I don't feel like potentially losing the ship. You can also unleash Xenos into your your territory. Generate 50 RP. That will help. Profit has gone down because of the embargo. Sons of bitches. There's another anomaly right there. That's good. Uh, adding all this to star chart with the anomaly. We'll explore that next turn. Oh fuck, I forgot to start the timer. So. 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 Of course, I've got people bothering me. Bothering. Always. Resources. So, while that's going on, let's make sure everybody else has themselves something to do. Uh, the research points have gone up wherever that's at. This right here. Um, some, somewhere. Right. So, all this research... Uh, theoretical, yeah, that that's not what we're looking for. This is what we're looking for. So it's almost done. That's the things that we have. That's the things that we're working on. That's the things that we could get. And this is the tree. The tree is big. It's a huge tree. Uh, down here is those guys that you get from clans and uh, elite. But for now, we're going to focus on this stuff because we need to branch off in other directions. The only way to do that is to get these. So let's do that. Shall we? Shall we do that? I think we should. Uh, artifacts and material will help a nearby colony project. Let's investigate it. Why not? It'll help one of these guys build stuff. Explorers generate 10 CP for Devolto's Prime. So Devolto's Prime just got 10 CP. That should be done. Yeah, next turn that's going to be done. So while that happens, let's get... I would enjoy another HAB unit, but we're going to do another one. Let's get Oh fuck, I forgot to make him go look for stuff. That's okay. It's alright. Everything is fine. Everything is just dandy. I want to make sure I have all these on the star chart. 
Can't be going around missing out. You know what I'm saying? Scan. We'll scan over here. Received. Get some more stuff. Uh, I feel a sneeze gum coming on, so that would be terrible. That'd be a terrible thing. It really would. Sneezing into my microphone. Who the fuck do I do I even act professional? Come on now. Who sneezes into their microphone? That's just ridiculous. Ridiculous. Uh, I turned down the audio of the game, so hopefully the audio in this one is fixed. Cause I I was reviewing and I was like, my god, that's so loud. Uh, might be able to turn the music on next time if it's. If it's okay, I'll review the video later. And if it's okay, then it's okay, and it's all good, and I might turn on the music. So as you can see, this is all going away. It will be going away for a while now. But, I thought there was asteroids there. We, apparently not. Research on planetary construction too. That's what we needed. So what did that give us? A spice den. Spice stands are used to keep your population happy. Uh, you can go down here and get a spice vest festival in exchange, which is much better than anything else you could possibly want. A duel of assassins. That's what I was talking about, not a spy war. Uh, a solar war is whenever two planets are literally attacking each other. A duel of assassins is whenever they're literally just sending assassins at each other. And uh, the duel of assassins is a very low chance to actually do anything except escalate to a solar war. So like a duel of assassins, all that does is make less money. It makes it, it's the same as a trade embargo. It doesn't really, it, it doesn't kill the population or anything. A solar war kills the populations, destroys your buildings, all that stuff. I've never had one, but I read about it. Because I, I take care of everybody. If their morale is low... You get low morale from uh, too many citizens, not enough spice, too many upgrades, not enough... Uh, like if you go over this limit, you can go over the limit on all of these. And it'll show a little red bar somewhere around here on this green one. But if you have too many citizens for housing, you have homeless people, then uh, then you have issues. Uh, so that's a two out of four. But, um, but yeah... We're gonna have a happy unit. But the profit's gone up. Now that I have mines being constructed everywhere, profit's going up. You want really good profit. You want to save money. Uh, a lot of times you'll just be sitting around doing nothing, and that's good. That's a good thing. If you're sitting around doing nothing but collecting money, that's a fantastic. You're doing great. That's all I can say. You're doing a good job. So we're gonna wait for the Jeff to get more stuff. Uh, you don't really need these for anything, so I just like letting them sit around and guard planets. Uh, I can make them start working on a strike fighter or a colony ship. This is what I wanted to talk about. Okay, this is important. Colony ships make colonies. I can build a colony ship and it'll colonize any of these stars. The only problem with that is each colony ship is specific to that house. So if I were to build it here in Kadar, it would only be a Kadar colony ship. And so if I were to build two and colonize both of these, they would both be Kadar. It wouldn't even out. I'd have to build one from each in order to colonize these planets and get each house to be equal. So that's the problem that you face with colonizing planets is that if you want more trade, then you'd colonize these two with that guy. If you want like a frontline defense, you'd colonize with this. If you want a what, why ever you would want espionage, you'd colonize with these guys, but you don't want to focus too heavily because once a house gets too powerful, it will start picking on the other two. They do. They. It's very political. This game is deep. It doesn't look deep. It looks very like pixels and stuff and just colors and and planets and like lists and stuff, but it's very deep. So we're going to uh, actually start work on a colony ship. So let's start getting colonizing. Colony ships cost so much. They are just, they're expensive. But I'll colonize that world. So I have two of these. I'll colonize these two with that. Colonize these two with this. And once I find another one somewhere, wherever, uh, 
we'll colonize down here. I am going to explore south because we're in the bottom corner of the map. This bottom right quadrant here is ours for now. For now. Later, though, it might be taken by aliens. Aliens are assholes. If you want to get into it in detail, they're just assholes. Just leave it at that. Just, you know, assholes. Um, what was I going to do next? That's a very good question. Probably get another mine. But for now, let's work on colony ships. You don't really want colony ships early. You want to wait until your places are, uh, you know, they got good population, they got good economy, they got good housing capability, good morale. You want to make sure all this is good in the future before you start working on a colony ship. But I'm just going to do it right off the bat because I'm an idiot like that. And uh, in the long run, it'll turn out really bad. But in the short run, it will turn out even worse. So don't want colony ships too fast. See, I thought I added those to the star chart too, but I guess I did not. That's why you want to double check. That's why I had to click on everything. So these are added to the star chart. You can see them in the fog of war, but I should have done something better with that. I hate asteroids. You can't move through them. You, you literally can't. You have to go around. So there's that. I'm not seeing another one for our Qatar buddies, but that's okay. That's fine. We're making good progress. And that's all I ever asked for was progress. Research complete. If I could make some progress. Research is... Research great. Okay, so research is done. Now we could do this and get cruisers. Which research in progress. And we could also get this. You can build your own ships with all this crap, or you can upgrade current ships. I'm not going to worry about that because I'm bad at it. I am... I'm terrible at it. The only reason I go down skill trees is to unlock new uh, new ships. Assault fighter, uh, Mesa Hawk fighter, all that good stuff. See, if I wanted fighters, I'd go down this. But the the real the real bread and butter is whenever you get later on and you unlock. Uh, where is it? Well, all this stuff is good, but you unlock a battleship somewhere in here, and that's the real bread and butter of it alien ass kicking is that battleship that you unlock. It's it's somewhere around here, trust me. I I don't know specifically, but it's you get carriers, you get salt shuttles and shit, I don't know. But uh right there battle cruiser. You unlock battle cruisers and stuff. And uh strike cruisers. I actually didn't know this, but they changed it so that this stuff shows blue whenever you unlock a new ship. So that's interesting. The Thulin Cruiser. Uh, I'm actually not going to go into that yellow stuff right there. Because, like I said, this is going to be a Let's Play for the people that have the free version. So they can just go off of this as a reference point. So I'm not going to be getting this. I'm going to have to go there and then go around. Even though I would not enjoy doing that. But I'm going to have to. Factory 3. Factory 3 is fantastic. Also, uh... See, the reason I like playing down here is because these guys are miners, and they have an orbital refinery, which gives it exploits minerals and requires zero quality. Uh, later on, you'll unlock a orbital HAB facility. That's a HAB unit 4. That's 4 population for 1 quality. Later on, quality management becomes, like, really good. But, um, but yeah, later on, you unlock, like, a mine 4, and... Uh, I believe it's right at mine six. Yeah, you unlock all kinds of great stuff. That's mine. That's a terraforming re reactor. So, yeah, you want to unlock stuff down here that allows you to get better, uh, more quality. Because the more buildings you can fit on a place without going over the threshold is amazing. If you go over the threshold, it pisses the population off. Uh, the Once you piss the population off, the morale goes down. Once the morale goes down low enough, they start rebelling, they start killing each other, re all this stuff goes down. It's just you want to keep everybody happy and mellow, you want to make sure the world fits to your needs. That'll be our another Qatar system right there. So for now, let's get you to start working on a colony ship. And then a mine once we get it. But for now, what are you at? You're at 2 out of 4. 
you're at two out of four, and you're at two out of three. So what are you building? You're building a colony ship, and we'll build you a happy. Oh, that's a blaze at two out of four. Eighty percent maintenance. That's not bad, but it's not good. You know, you want like zero percent maintenance, which you can never really get to, but you really want it. You want to just get there. You know, mating failed. Trade meeting failed. Well, that's not good. Let's do that again. You can subsidize stuff. I don't know if I showed this off, but I find it to be a useless implement. Go subsidize. I don't know why I can't subsidize that stuff. I guess it's because I don't have enough money. Uh, but you pay 50% of it. So you pay the 100 and then you pay 150 and it increases the uh, the percentage by like 30% or something. The percentage goes down. Like, I can tell them to stop working on that colony ship and work on this. You can move it up. And this will go down, though. It'll go from 16 down to 0. They'll just stop working on it. So I want to keep them working on that. I mean, if you really need something, you can just tell them to fuck everything else and go work on that. But I don't like doing that, so I don't do it. Uh... Glad I fixed the audio levels, though. It's quiet for me. It's quiet for you. Everybody's happy. Everybody's happy. Uh, we're gonna scan. Coordinates received. Nothing. So we got tons of stars in our little area. This will be fantastic, you know. Later on. For now, it's 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 just something. So everybody's got good minerals. That guy needs housing. Uh, right now, it's real simple. Like, you just worry about these three. Later on, I'll have to worry about those three and then everything else. So, on top of all that, I'll have to worry about the economy, attacking aliens. Because the aliens are doing the same thing I'm doing right now. They are doing it, and they're doing it better. So that's the problem with the aliens, is uh, they're doing everything I'm doing. They're colonizing planets, they're dealing with their economy, they're building ships. But they're doing it better. And so when I have to fight them, I'll have to kick everything into high gear and go find out where they live, bomb their planets. The thing about alien planets is you have to completely bomb them to dust and then invade them and colonize them. Because if you, you can't colonize while well, they have like one guy on there, you have to bomb the population to zero. And the thing is, is that the population regrows, so their population will slowly go up like ours is. And it will be just terrible. It'll be a bad thing. So let's let's do all this stuff. Columns, Gamma Door. All the names are randomly generated. So that's Gamma Door. That's Kadar Prime. And uh, Gamdalore. Yep, Gamdalore is a place now. I'll move that down there. I'm gonna get you home so you can refuel. And I believe that should be about it. Profit has gone up. For now, I've it. I've it. I wish I had eight more dollars, but I don't. So we're just gonna worry about that. Uh, two out of four, two out of four. Everything's fine. Everything's dandy. Everything's going great. That profit will be going down, though. So since I got a new colony, it will be going down. But, that's okay. That's alright, it can go down. I don't need the money right away. I mean, I kind of do, actually, but not for now. For now, we're just doing stuff. I forgot to check the uh, specifics, because everything's randomly generated. Everything is just random. The quality is 15, that's not bad. It's not, it's not 20, but it's 15. Spice is 0 out of 1. It did not come with a spice hall. Uh, it came with a starport. Uh, so we're going to need to build a spice hall. Spice then. That upgrades into a hall. So there's that. Uh, oh, right. As you saw there, I could have subsidized, but I chose not to. Report reduced Zenga alien. So there's two different kinds. There's Zanga, and then there's one other kind. These Star Trader captains, uh, 
the thing, it's weird. Everything falls together. These guys made a completely different game called Star Traders, where you were just one ship and the planets were already made and they were doing their own thing. It's the exact same thing, but reversed. So, I know you can't see other ships, but there are tiny little ships going from here. They're going out exploring. They're doing stuff. They'll trade between planets. Uh, you know, that sort of stuff. Like, you can't see it because it, it's not there. But imagine, imagine little ships going between these planets and going out of these planets into the galaxy. They don't explore for me, but they do that. And it works the exact same way as the other game, whereas those star traders go out and do stuff, and they do their own little thing, and they worry about themselves. And they'll report like reduced xeno activity, heightened xeno activity, all that good stuff. And uh, so yeah, we are going to start production on all kinds of stuff. So once we get that done, let's get all oh, your mining is three. Let's check our planet list. What is the list? Mineral four, two, three, zero. So let's get you a mine. Uh, Gamma door, you're working on a mine, so that's great. And uh, so we're coming up on the end of the video, but not for another 30 seconds. Because I turned the timer on a little late, so my timer says 1833, but it, in all honesty, this has been going on for like 20 minutes so you know um right so that's progress we made a little bit got another colony uh right now you're well we're close we got another turn uh so at the end of the colonization efforts of red star number two or three actually it'll get us some stuff Yes, at housing capacity, it, when it says housing capacity, that's a notice. If you go over housing capacity, morale starts going down. As you can see, we're at zero out of two. Morale will start going down unless we can start getting this spice all up. We don't even have a factory built. So let's get a factory, let's get a mine, spice then, factory. So you can see colonies and primes have completely different needs. You need to start a colony fresh. The primes come with everything involved. That prime, the primes come with spice dens, all kinds of stuff. But colonies start with, uh, with basically like nothing. You have to start everything for them. Hab units, mines, I mean everything, my god. Richard Prime completed construction on the colony ship. Well, there's another colony we'll be taking. So, yeah. Um, oh, there's another planet. Well, there we go. All kinds of stuff is happening. We've got six colonies. So as you can see, the colony ships worked for their own things. Devolta's Prime. Shit. Reduced Xena. Yeah, see, Zytox and Zem, Zem, Zengar. Zengo? Something. Uh, Zenga. So, devolt those prime. Working on a hab unit, but I'm going to have to So, I'll, while I do that, uh, and on that colonization effort, if you guys look at this, everything's working out fine. And uh, I'll catch y'all at the next video. So, have fun, you know? Leave this video and have fun. Now let's try and find this button. There it is. Okay, bye.